as you can see since uh, I worked on this last year um, I've packaged the, the, the radio up into a nice little Hammond box and it uh, looks a lot more like a radio now um, so just a quick walkthrough of uh, what, what we have here this is the uh, soft rock uh, I'm using a 6.2 uh, this happens to be a 40 meter soft rock module. I added pin connectors to all the connectors and, and cables so I can easily take this thing out and swap in another board. I have three of these soft rock modules. And um, so we have the antenna input. Uh, that's the power input. So power goes to the soft rock and also goes onto a little regulator board over here. So this regulator board has a uh, a small switcher, so which is a more efficient way of getting 5 volts for the logic. So this is a 12 volt to uh, 5 volt step down. Um, there's a little linear regulator under the bottom side of this board here, which runs this little board here. That's an SI5351 clock generator, uh, which generates the master clock for the soft rock. So we have our display here. This is a 2.1 inch TFT display. I bought this one from uh, banggood.com and um, again it's uh, five or six dollars. Great little display. And here we have the Teensy board set. So the Teensy audio shield on the bottom and this is the Teensy microprocessor board on the top. Uh, an encoder switch which goes to the Teensy. Uh, underneath here there's a, a, an audio pot um, that cables into the um, um, volume control input or this sort of generic A to D input uh, on the audio shield. So it's basically taking, reading the voltage off the pot and digitizing it. And that's what I use to change the volume on the, on the radio. Um, the cabling here is uh, perhaps a little inelegant, but uh, I want to make sure this was easy to move around, at least for this version of it, because... Uh, I'm still shuffling around the uh, the inputs and stuff like that in the software. And these holes here are for the future addition of a um, mic input and um, I'm going to add a little audio power amp so I can use an external speaker. I have a speaker mic um, that I'm going to use with this. So, so, so far it doesn't transmit um, but it receives really well. Uh, if I turn up my volume here, I, I'm uh, listening to 40 meters here at the moment and let's just see if we can get some CW that's yeah, not CW so let's switch to lower sideband so you can see the audio is pretty good it's just coming through this little speaker it actually sounds a lot better through headphones um, this is the Teensy headphone jack here on the front. I have the, the uh, USB jack in the front, which is um, basically for uploading the code to the Teensy. Two buttons, these just go to the Teensy. These are kind of general purpose for the UI. So uh, right now they're used to switch between upper and lower sideband. And between wide and narrow filter modes. So... Um, so that shows you the sideband rejection of this board. It's very, very good. Um, when I switched to upper sideband, you basically hear virtually nothing from the lower sideband. So a lot of credit <clears throat> I'll give to uh, Lofter. Uh, he took my code and added uh, a lot of um, improvements to it, one being the better filters. So he was the one who got the uh, sideband suppression this good. Still to be done is implement transmit mode. Um, I have some ideas on how to do that. I don't think it's that difficult. It's just a matter of uh, software at this point and adding uh, my mic input. Um, I guess the other thing I should note here is that um, it's my power supply. I don't know if you can read that, but at 12 volts, this radio and receive mode is consuming about 86, 87 milliamps. So, you know, very, very practic practical for a, a portable device. Um, I'm not sure that I've seen an SDR from anybody that consumes that little power. So, I'm pretty happy with this thing. It, um, again, needs more work. Um, I posted the code on GitHub. So, I'll include the link in the video. And um, please, if you feel like working on it, go ahead and make contributions. I'm hoping to make this kind of a collaborative effort. And maybe we can get um, yet another little 
um, software-defined radio for ham radio enthusiasts out there. Um, nice little portable package.